Okay, today I'm going to turn all this into this. Okay, here's the finished product. What you see is the homemade foundry completed. Um, the bucket, I'm going to give you the dimensions. The bucket itself. Okay, all this stuff you see right here, I'm about to make me a mini homemade foundry. This is a galvanized steel bucket. This is all-purpose sand. This is a uh, plaster of Paris, a bucket of water. I have another bucket, some bolts, safety glasses, pipe, PVC. I'm going to take the Paris of plaster and the sand and I'll mix them in a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to use um, two parts plaster, one part water, one part plaster, one part sand. Let's get started. I'm going to take a second bucket and same mixture, one to one ratio with a half a ratio of water, and I'm going to make the lid. These big bolts right here, I'm going to sit them in the plaster as it's hardening, and it would be my little grips, so to speak. Just as before, I'm going to use this cup with water to place it in the plaster to make a hole. Right now, I'm just packing it down so I can get it as flat as possible. And I'll go ahead and vibrate it as soon as I clean my hand off. And then uh, I'll put the cup in to make the center hole. As the plaster is drying, I'll go ahead and describe how I'm going to use the PVC and pipe setup. Okay, right here, this is my 3 fourths by 12 inch uh, galvanized steel nipple. This is a 3 fourths adapter, which will, a 3 fourths female adapter, which will accept the nipple and then a inch coupling on this side. So what this is going to look like is like this simply going to screw all that together I'm going to drill a hole into the bucket through the uh, plaster of Paris and sand mixture come in at an angle and this is where I will introduce cool air from a safe distance into the mini foundry and uh, that will make the heat tremendously hotter and it'll be at a safe distance okay it's actually been about three hours and this thing it's nice and solid so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna squeeze it in and then pull it out it definitely helps if you get some pliers as you can see I pulled that out and look at it nice smooth hole this one came out way easier. It just took me a few seconds. And it didn't quite make a hole to the bottom because of the contour of the cup. But that's no problem. Uh, as soon as I get it out, I'll go ahead and 
beat this hole and the lid will fit perfectly on top go ahead and drill it and then it's fire time I'm gonna have to cut the top out of this bucket because it was actually taking a little too long for me to bang it out and I kind of chipped the bucket anywhere so there was a hole so I said hey use the power tools Just that easy. Let's see. Perfect. So, let me go ahead and cut a hole for this. And then uh, it's time to heat something up. Okay, right here I'm just using a standard drill. I have a standard one inch drill bit, which is the same diameter of the pipe. I'm going to drill a hole straight through the galvanized uh, steel bucket. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, the steel bucket. Really can't. Then I'm going to tilt the. <laughs> then I'm tilt the drill up and drill at a downward angle. Cat, move. going to take uh, my file and some sandpaper go ahead and smooth the edges out a little bit this is what it looks like on the inside if you don't have a file this is uh, 60 grit sandpaper works just as well I just put the pipe in and it's a very tight fit all the way around and on the inside right now I'm using that same sandpaper the same 60 grit and I'm just going over the top to level out I'm um, just going over the top of the plaster mixture to level it out so that it accepts the lid that much better um, I might go and get my grinder but I'm just showing this in case you don't have a grinder you could just use sandpaper right here I'm just using my standard grinder it's a four and a half inch grinder with a 60 grit uh, sanding disc and I'm just going to smooth this up like I said this is just for Decorative purposes. Put my glasses on. Put my mask on. Okay, since I grinded it, it seems to be a little flatter now on the bottom, so the lid uh, makes a perfect marriage with the bucket and it's very little wiggle. Uh, what I'm do, I'm attach some wire to this so I can have more of a handle to get it off. Here's the finished product. What you see is the homemade foundry completed. Um, the bucket, I'm gonna give you the dimensions. The bucket itself with the lid is 12 inches tall by 10 and a half inches wide. The lid itself is roughly three inches thick by ten and a half inches wide. I used two feet of PVC and this uh, pipe nipple right here is also uh, 12 inches. The whole thing weighs, I haven't weighed it, but I would say it's a good 30 to 50 pounds. So, uh, look inside. inside this big hole right here the the hole is six inches wide by six inches deep the hole that I cut in is one inch the diameter of the nipple so I put these two bolts on top and I put a little hanger you know just wrap the little hanger around these two bolts just to give me something to pull it off when it's hot so uh, that's how you make a homemade foundry <clears throat> obviously I'm about to test it because I want to see I want to see it work and uh, then in the next video I'm going to melt some cans I don't know just because I don't even have anything I want to melt them for yet I do want to make a mold of my hands and my feet 
So that would probably be the first thing I do, but that would be in the next video. Okay, right now I'm about to light it up. I'm gonna give it a little test run. I'm gonna pour me some charcoals in here. I'm using Char King Instalite. And I'm going to actually use my heat gun. 1500 watt heat gun to light this up. I hear it. It's trying to start. There you go. There you go. Turn around. There you go. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Blowing that air in there. Oh, it sounds like a freaking jet or something. Okay, now that I know this thing works, and I know it can hold a tremendous amount of heat, because this, I'm touching the lid, I feel no heat right now, and we saw just how fast it can melt. Melting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm e I'm gonna go buy me a crucible, and in the next video, I'm gonna melt a lot of cans and pour them into something. We'll see. So as usual, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You guys have a good one.